AI generative models are trained in the works of artists from around the world, many of whom understandably oppose the use of these artworks in teaching machines to copy their distinctive styles. But users of these programs have discovered that you can request that a generative result be set in the style of a particular artist by typing that artist's name directly into the prompt. And whether they approve or not, many of these artists are seeing a massive swath of generative works being created using their name. Is this even legal? Is it morally right? Is it the end of art as we know it or the beginning of a new era of human computer artistry? We don't have all the answers here, but what we can do is shine a spotlight on some of the great artists that have been so widely plagiarized in the data sets of these generative AI systems. This isn't strictly a top 10 list, so if you'd like to learn about even more artists in the future, drop a comment below. Before we begin, many of these artists have spoken out about their works and names being used in this way, and so it might be worth thinking twice before using them directly in your next prompt. Artists of all stripes should still be able to make a living, so consider patronizing these artists where possible. We've linked to these resources below. Ilya Kuvshinov is an artist originally from Russia but currently residing in Japan. Kuvshinov's art style is characterized by a fusion of anime and realism, often depicting beautiful rendered portraits of characters with soft and delicate features. His influences draw from Japanese animation and manga, as well as Western classical art. Kuvshinov was recently the lead character designer on the Netflix adaptation of Ghost in the Shell. If you want a sneak peek into what this artist is doing today, head over to his Patreon. The work of Polish artist Greg Wachowski often explores themes of fantasy and realism, with a focus on nature and imaginative landscapes. His work has been used in Sony's Horizon Forbidden West, Ubisoft's Anno, Dungeons and & Dragons, and Magic the Gathering. Wachowski has been named as one of the most copied artists by AI. And you can see why. In a recent interview, he said that AI should exclude living artists from its database and that he's concerned about the flood of knockoffs that are making their way into the search results already. Swiss-born Hans Rudi Giger was a renowned artist and designer. He primarily lived in Zurich and worked on a variety of projects, including painting, sculpture, and film design. Giger is famous for his distinct and surreal biomechanical style, which combines elements of human anatomy and machinery. His influential works include the designs of the iconic alien creature in the film Alien. Giger's artistic vision was heavily influenced by surrealism, science fiction, and gothic art. On the one year anniversary of his death, the Museum of Arts and Design near New York City staged a series the Unseen Cinema of H.R. Giger in May 2015. According to his IllustrationX.com profile, Butcher Billy is a Brazilian illustrator who serves up a fresh slice of modern culture by splicing ideas, imagery, lyrics, and moods, together forming his own unique form of contemporary nostalgia, juxtaposing everything from Wonder Woman to Watchmen to Morrissey and Breaking Bad. His work is ironic, iconic, and very postmodern. Perhaps most famous for his DC Comics, Stanley Art Germ Lau is an artist who was born in Hong Kong and currently resides in Singapore. Lau is well known for his skill in creating stunning digital illustrations, particularly of female characters from the world of comics and video games. His art style is characterized by highly detailed renderings, dynamic poses, and a strong emphasis on beauty and elegance. We're halfway done, so if you've gotten this far, why not subscribe, hit the bell, so that you know when next video will come out. Chris Foss, a British artist, is renowned for his influential contributions to science fiction and concept art. Foss's distinctive style combines futuristic designs, intricate machinery, and vibrant colors. 
his artwork has graced the covers of numerous science fiction novels and has been featured in video games and film, including the spacecraft of Guardians of the Galaxy. Foss's art has had a lasting impact on the genre, inspiring generations of artists and shaping the visual aesthetic of science fiction. Anato Finstark is a Finnish artist and illustrator whose artworks resemble a dark and mysterious forest, full of hidden secrets and unexpected twists and turns. Finstark's illustrations are both visually striking and emotionally charged, leading the viewer into a magical, fantastical world. Alphonse Mucha, a Czech artist, is best known for his iconic Art Nouveau style. Born in Moravia, Mucha lived and worked in Paris during the late 19th and early 20th century. His art is characterized by intricate patterns, flowing lines, and elegant female figures. Mucha's work often features decorative motifs and symbols inspired by nature and mythology. His influences include the organic forms of Art Nouveau as well as the Byzantine and Rococo art movements. Vadim Kashin is a Russian visual development and concept artist known for his exceptional talent in digital painting and concept art. His art style is characterized by dynamic compositions, vibrant colors, and a fusion of fantasy and sci-fi elements. Drawing inspiration from mythology, history, and popular culture, his intricate and imaginative artworks showcase a strong sense of storytelling and visual narrative. Elena Enami expertly blends elements of science fiction and fantasy to create dreamlike environments filled with intricate architecture, vast expanses, and a sense of wonder. Elena's masterful use of color and light, particularly in her iconic sundown color palette, gives her illustrations depth and atmosphere, transporting viewers to captivating and imaginative realms. That's 10 down and about a million more to go. So if you like this video, click like, and if we get a good number of views, Maybe we'll do another one in the future. Thanks very much. Have a great day. See you soon.